Olympics, the Orpheum Theater. The most be- one of the most beautiful rooms I've been in. Not not this room, room itself, but but the room upstairs. Oh yeah, no, it, you know, actually the room upstairs. Uh, we just we just got here a few hours ago, and I'd never been here. It's unreal. It's first even, time playing the room. Yeah, first time being in the room, and uh, it's I didn't even know places like this existed. I mean, it, <laughs> it feels like we're we've gone back in time. Newfoundland has no old theaters. Um, like not this? of this. Not, not of, of this, this caliber. Caliber, no. In fact, not really of any caliber. <laughs> Nothing at all. I mean, there's, you know, there's like the Ayrton Culture Center. Burned down or got torn down. Yeah. <laughs> Everything, St. John's burned down fully, burned down like twice. You know, so there's really? Not that many of that. Not that many old buildings, despite the fact it's the oldest. They say it's the oldest city. St. John's? Well, I guess yeah, the Quebec Vikings and whatnot. Connect City and St. John's are always arguing about I don't know. Well, on the topic of St. John's in Newfoundland, then, I've, being in a band, have you ever thought about having to move out of there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lots. And? Yeah. Not going to happen? I don't know if it's not going to happen. It, it, um, it, it, I don't think it's, pro- it's probably not going to happen as a group. Um, you know, that's... Do you think it's necessary, though, to get to a more... I don't think it's necessary. No, I mean, I think uh, it's been hard. It's been difficult. A lot, in a lot of ways, it's been really hard. Mm-hmm. Um, so much more traveling, you know. It's an extra, extra 24 hours you know, to get to Halifax. So it's like, it adds a lot of money and a lot of time to every tour. Mm-hmm. But I, I think it's worth it. I love I love being there. I love uh, being from there. I love go, like going there after after being on tour and being, um, you know, in, in all the big cities and just feeling all the, I don't know, the, the, the strange sort of rat race of music, like mm-hmm. weeklies and you know what's what's hot and what's not, and you know people caring about what you wear. And, you know, uh, I I think it's a very refreshing place to be and to create music. You know, I think there's a lot of really great, talented people there, making making art and music for uh, for no reason other than the fact that they kind of feel like they have to or that they want to. You know, there's no chance really of being rich or famous or anything. It's not really an agenda. You know? mm-hmm. I, I like being there, and I like being away from, from all that stuff. Yeah. It's a little isolated. It is. It, I mean, it's a pretty isolated place, yeah. Does it come out in the music, you think, and what you write? Do you write from, like, an isolate, isolationist point of view? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I lived in, I lived in Montreal for a while, but I, I um, was a lot younger. The music I wrote was a lot different anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't tell what to what sort of extent that has an impact. Hmm. Maybe it does. Well, on topic of songwriting, then we'll, we'll shift gears and, and you're working on a new record, writing some new yeah. stuff. Mm. It's been a little while since Into Your Lungs. Yeah, it has been a nice long time, actually. And, uh, so what's what's coming out in the record? What are the themes? What are you writing about? What? Uh... Uh, well, there's obviously, I mean, the most, uh, there's lots of, lots of songs about, <laughs> about being on the road, of course, is just yeah. You know, it's a lot of what our our life is, our lives have sort of become. But uh, see, yeah, let me think. Uh, That's a sophomore record, though. Kind of. Do you consider it a sophomore record, or is this the third? Does Planer Escape count? I consider it the third. Yeah. I mean, Planer Escape was a full length, and, and then it got released twice. So mm-hmm. It almost counts. It definitely counts as one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, uh, so then the third one should be writing about whatever you want to write about. I mean, it, it is, you know. Yeah. I mean, I definitely didn't try to write about anything. Um, uh, yeah, it was a different writing experience. I mean, there was a lot less time to write, you know. Um, I find it very difficult to write on the road. There's, you're never really alone. You're never really in a quiet place where you can kind of listen to yourself. Or mm-hmm. whatever it is that, that so do you write alone then as opposed to, like, in yeah. a group with the guys? No, I always write alone, yeah. Um, you know, words. Uh, after the words and the chords and the melodies are put together, everything else yeah. happens you know, with, the, with the group. And I'm, I'm not like strict about that. It's just the way that I, I always have functioned. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who'd you get to produce? Is it already done? Like how well, far along? No, no, okay. No. Um, I was actually talking to a pr- 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 prospective uh, producer this morning mm. in Scotland. And uh, we've been really just digging around for... Um, 
the producer for, for a while. Um, you don't want to work with Hawk again, or? But not that I don't want to. I just think we're gonna we're gonna um, probably you know just switch it up. But um, mm -hmm. that was a great experience. But uh, you did it once. Try something new. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of minds and ears out there. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know where we're gonna do it. Or I just, we still don't know. But but the songs are almost there. Are they coming out live? I guess you're not really playing. This is just it happens to be a special week kind of thing. Uh, yeah, we yeah we did a little tour in, uh, in December. Um, we were in England in November and um, England and France in November, and then we were in Canada in December a bunch, and uh, then we have taken the last couple months to just demo and write and arrange. And there's this now, and then we're we're going to uh, South by Southwest in a couple weeks, but. Uh, yeah, the record is really in the, the forefront of all our minds. Yeah. When can we expect to hear it? What do you think? Like an approximate fall? Yeah, def definitely by the fall. I think I, I'd, mm -hmm. I'd certainly be uh, feel kind of unhappy if it wasn't out by then. Uh, I think these the songs are ready to be put down. A lot of them, you know, and, uh, and we I think we're ready to move on in, in a lot of ways. You know? It's always weird though. You always do it, and then there's two or three months when the, you know you gotta mix it master it design it and do all that stuff mm -hmm. and, then, and even when that's all done then you need you need like a couple months for all the, the label and, the, and the, the team to do their, to do mm -hmm. their thing you're gonna put out another one of those like mini cd booklets or are you gonna go uh, full size i have uh, some very interesting ideas about <laughs> do you? That, uh, but okay, i can't sure share you. with you yeah, but it's kind of exciting it's kind of weird and cool i think all right olympics and then uh, you got me thinking about the CD book, but I was going to say, so what are you doing for the Olympics? You got anything special going on? You going to go see any events? Um, I think our our uh, our free time is done, I think. Oh, really? We really got here yesterday at noon. And, uh, and you're working. And now hey, this is something that we have something every day. We have Tuesday off, actually. Oh, that's nice. But, uh, yeah, we're here at the Orpheum tonight, and tomorrow and Sunday we're down in Granville Island. Mm -hmm. uh, Monday we're up in Whistler. Tuesday we have off. Wednesday, I, we're not actually playing a show, but I'm doing a bunch of stuff at CBC mm -hmm. 3 doing a podcast and, uh, cool. and a couple interviews. I have a dance rehearsal, actually. A dance rehearsal? Because it's not really, you know. No, 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 you need to explain that further. Well, because well, then, uh, yeah, we have something on Thursday. Um, what is it on Thursday? I don't know. Oh, it's like a private thing. The Newfoundland government somewhere. I don't mm -hmm. know what that is. Um, but Friday we're doing a award ceremony at BC Place, and then uh, I have to do a traditional Newfoundland dance with a bunch of other people. That's awesome. Yeah, have you ever done one before? The needle. Uh, I no, I'm not familiar with it. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm told it's very simple. I hope it's on TV. Uh, I think it is actually on TV. <laughs> it's amazing. It's in like a stadium. That'll be nerve wracking. Yeah, be a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and then Saturday we're playing uh, something with Winter Sleep and uh, Tokyo Police Club somewhere. I don't know. That should be cool too. The Surrey Celebration Center. Anyway, it's, a nice, it's, it's, it's a nice week for it. It's lots, yeah. It's uh, seven seven shows or something like that. I heard you wanted to put an orchestra on the next record too. Uh, well, um, you, yes. You'd, you'd like to. Yes, and uh, I was actually just talking about that today with this producer. Right? Who um, will be re remain nameless? Who will remain remain nameless for the time being? Because right. uh, nothing. I mean, it was the first time I'd spoken to him. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, thank you. I'm excited to hear it. Yeah. Well, me too, actually.